In this video, we're going to give you a quick update on how the real estate market is doing in Santa Clara County and where it's headed. Now, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the near future, then you'll want to stick around because this information could potentially save you thousands of dollars. Hey everyone, my name is John Reinquist and I'm a realtor serving the Campbell Cambrian District and surrounding Silicon Valley areas. And I'm Claudine Reichquist. John and I are here to give you some insights into what's going on in the housing market so that you can make smarter, informed decisions when it comes to buying or selling real estate. Over the past couple of years, we've seen prices in Santa Clara County skyrocket to all-time highs. In fact, the median sale price of a single-family home in our county is now well over $1.9 million. For condos and townhomes, the median sale price is a little over $1 million. Now let's take a look at the residential real estate activity in Campbell during the previous month. The number of active listings was down 32% from one year earlier and up 52% from the previous month. This recent increase reflected a larger selection of homes for buyers to choose from. The median sales price for single-family homes in March was $2.2 million, with a sale-to-list price at 118%. For townhomes and condos, the median sales price in Campbell is at $977,000, with a sale-to-list price at 107%. Compared to last year, the average number of days units spent on the market before being sold was down 60%. The number of units sold decreased 26% year-over-year and increased 43% month-over-month, despite a slight annual decrease. As of today, there's only 61 homes available on the market in Campbell. In Cambrian, the number of active listings was down 8% from one year earlier and up 14% from the previous month. The median sale price as of the last month for single-family homes is at $2,051,000, with a sale to list price at 121%. For townhomes and condos, the median sales price in Cambrian is at $730,000, with a sale to list price at 108%. Compared to last year, the average number of days units spent on the market before being sold was down 18%. The number of units sold increased 7% year over year and increased 74% month over month. As of today, there are only 53 homes available on the market in Cambrian. These figures may indicate that buyers have been taking advantage of opportunities in the market. And with the limited inventory in Campbell and Cambrian, we highly suggest to not dilly-dally if you're intending to buy a home. Interest rates rose again earlier this year and hit the highest level since 2018, with the Federal Reserve taking more aggressive steps to fight inflation. But despite the increase, the California housing market has remained solid so far this year, and there are signs that point to a decent home buying season in the upcoming months. If you're thinking of selling and you're actually ready to sell, now might be the time. Despite the fact that home prices are predicted to rise over the next few months, there are increasing concerns that the Central Bank's Balancing Act will trigger a recession in 2023. However, don't be too alarmed. It's still too early to tell whether the Fed's move will lead to an economic soft landing or a downturn. If you need more information about selling or would like to know more about your home's value, text INFO to 408-634-8880. My name is John Reidquist. Thanks for watching. And I'm Claudine Reidquist. We look forward to hearing from you. And as always, live happy and love where you live.